My dream was always to be a painter and an art teacher. So I went back to college and it took me seven years to earn my degree because I was teaching part-time and raising a family. I graduated magna cum laude and I got a teaching job in a junior high. So you can imagine how I felt after a few years when I realized that not only was I losing my hearing, but I was losing my eyesight. I remember a friend said to me, Carol, what a shame you've wasted all those years. Well, I knew I hadn't wasted anything, but I didn't know what the heck I was going to do now. Well, eventually I became aware that I was eligible for services for the blind, and I learned braille and touch typing and keyboarding and computers, but the best thing of all was I began to paint again and exhibit my work with the National Exhibits by Blind Artists. From there, other people saw my work and soon I was showing and selling my work as a visually impaired artist. As my eyesight began to disintegrate more, I started to switch to sculpture. And I remember the night that it dawned on me that I was seeing with my, with my fingers. I was seeing with my fingers, my hands, my arms, and my whole body, and I was still able to make sculpture. And that's the night that I knew that I could go completely blind and still go on making art. Well, I not only was making art as a blind person, but I began teaching workshops and doing presentations to the universities and the art schools in the Philadelphia area and talking about art by the blind. And so my dream came true. I, I was still an artist and all the things that I learned as a painter directly apply to sculpture. And I found that I had a mind's eye and that I was learning an additional level of art. And with my art now, I am trying to show people by letting them touch my work what I have learned as a blind artist. I think that the blind have something to teach the sighted and that if they would just pay attention, they can learn something from us. So my dream came true. Not only am I a successful artist, but I'm also a teacher. So at 73 years of age, I am still learning, I am still working, I am still selling my work, I am teaching and doing presentations, and still growing and learning every single day.